that part of our bodies that is ailing. And we must learn to see health there. We must learn to see the healing of the Lord there. We must learn to see where there is a growth that shouldn't be. We must learn to see that thing dissolved. And we got to speak the word of God to it. We must learn to, yes, look inside yourself, but don't look to yourself. Okay? What I mean by that is look inside yourself by closing your eyes during meditation. Or you can crack them open however you want to do it. But the main ingredient is our focus and concentration on who Yahweh Elohim is, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We must learn to look inside ourselves, not as the New Agers do, not as the Eastern religions do, but look inside ourselves to look to find the ailments or the illnesses that have manifested in our bodies. If it's in our leg, visualize the inside of your leg, wherever that thing is hurting, wherever that growth is, wherever that cancer cell is, wherever that problematic area in your body is, or even in your mind, look there in your mind, visualize it, look at it, and then speak the word of God to it and command it to line up with the scripture. That is biblical meditation. That is breathing. That is visualization. That is how we practice it as children of the Most High God. And I guarantee you, if you do this, you will notice a change. I mean a drastic change for the better in your physical body, your emotional and mental health, and in your spirit. I hope you've enjoyed this section of teaching as it relates to spiritual meditation and spiritual warfare. Shalom.